So, what's going on, everyone? My name is Andrew, and uh, I'm just going to be giving you a really quick review of Tekkit, which is a Minecraft mod sort of thing. So, currently, it looks just like Minecraft. Um, once you download Tekkit, you simply enter your password from Minecraft, and it'll open up and look exactly like Minecraft. So, it's pretty straightforward. You won't have any of your single player worlds or anything else saved. It'll be like a brand new Minecraft. So, let me just create a new single player world. It doesn't really matter. Game mode creative there create world so um i guess the first thing that's to really note about tech it is it's exactly like minecraft uh minecraft point eight so it hasn't quite evolved to the um the upgraded version but the thing that you should notice well i think will you will notice first is there's a lot of different you know plant life and trees around so these trees right here they look similar to the um, the large large trees in the uh, the update with the rainforest or whatever you want to call it. These are actually rubber trees that you can use to create um, rubberized cables and uh, other kinds of things. I'll show you that in just a minute. So if I uh, go into my inventory, it comes preloaded with I think just about twenty mods, and so you can see it has too many items and it has forty two pages of just just some really really fun mods. So, um, I don't know how much I can show you, but for now, I think I'll just uh, show you the basics of how Tekkit is separated from everything else. Alright, so we're back. Um, I'm on uh, just good old-fashioned uh, survival mode now, and I've spawned myself in a Dark Matter pickaxe. Uh, dark Matter is not something you can mine, but you have to conjure in, and it conjures extremely slowly, like one block at a time. But uh, it's it's very, very strong and it's quite fast. So I guess the first thing you'll notice is this right here looks kind of different. If I mine it away, what did I get? Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Appetile? Appetite? Anyway, so it's a different type of material. Um, altogether, it's got just lots and lots of different general materials to mine. So right here, this is a copper ore. It's used to make um, cables and other things like that. Pretty much it's the same, it's just added more stuff. Um, well, you see, there's just coal. Uh, the deeper you get, you can get some really interesting materials though, like sapphire, rubies. You use rubies to make lasers if you have the material. All right, hold on. There we go. You use rubies to make lasers, you use uh, sapphires and stuff to conjure demons and whatever else you wanted to do. So yeah, that's I guess the first different thing. There's just lots more materials. Uh, let me go see if I can find a volcano. All right, so um, I actually had to switch uh, to my Tekkit server because I was having a really hard time finding uh, anything. So this right here is a volcano. This is one of my, my favorite things. This is my new favorite building material. This is basalt. And it's just this... It's, it's about as tough as smooth stone. But uh, no, I, I really like it. Let me just make it day. Set time to sunrise. There we go. So this is a volcano. It's uh, one of the mods that they've added into Tekkit. Sometimes they're quite a bit larger. Sometimes they're quite a bit flatter. You know, I guess it all depends on uh, how the world generates. But they all have lava. And the lava goes all the way down to the bedrock. So if you need a mine shaft, you can always just throw some water on top of that and mine it away. So that's volcanoes. I guess there's there's not, there, well, there's so much more to show you, but I really don't have a lot more to say. Uh, if you want tutorials, just let me know in the comments or something like that. Um, I've had this program for about two weeks now, and I've just barely figured out how to make everything work. You know, there's there's pumps and mining equipment and Actually, you know, I'll just show you something else really quick. All right, so um, here we are at what used to be the largest pumping station my friend and I have ever made. This was my friend Brandon, myself, and my friend Jordan. Probably three, four hours of just solid Minecrafting to build this. These are pipes leading to this lake and river, or whatever, to cool all these engines. But unfortunately, the cooling wasn't enough, and when an engine goes overheats and explodes, it's about the same force as a block of TNT. And we had, I think, 
maybe eight engines going at the same time. So when one of them exploded, it cut off the flow to the other ones, and they all overheated and exploded. But uh, So underground, we have this just colossal lake of oil. And this was completely full all the way up to the roof there. Well, about up to about here. This was all pump systems that exploded. But as you can see, just a huge amount of oil. Um, those columns that you're going to see are exactly 10 tall, which means they have 100 buckets of oil in each column. There are 50 columns full, which means there is 5,000 buckets of oil in this system. So ignore this system right here. This is just all temporary. Let me take you to the refinery quickly so you can see sort of what you can do if you have lots and lots of patients and lots of the time. This is a more complicated, but still pretty straightforward refinery system. We have cooling pumps right here. These pump water into this manifold system right here, which, uh, power, which cools and powers these generators. There's 10 here. This pipe with the red in it is electrical pipe. It transfers electrical energy. <laughs> the electrical energy then is used to run these two uh, converters right here which turn crude oil into fuel and then the fuel is collected right here we have 10 20 about almost 25 24 buckets worth of fuel and that took I think about 25 minutes to produce that much so it's still extremely lengthy this system is incredibly inefficient but at the same time I th one bucket of fuel will run an engine for I think four or five days solid but Fuel burns hotter than oil, which means you need more coolant, and it's it's so complex, but I will be willing to make you a video if you so desire. So I'm going to edit this thing and stick it up on YouTube and see what happens. Well, anyway, my name is Andrew, and this video is probably about 40 gigabytes. Thanks for watching.